And now to a consumer first alert about grocery loyalty rewards. If you shop at Meyer, you are probably aware of the M Perks rewards you can get for shopping and can be redeemed for free or discounted groceries. This fraud case saw more than a million dollars worth of M Perks rewards stolen. Tammy Elliott joins us now to talk about this latest scam. So uh, how did this one unfold, Tammy, and how did authorities learn about it? Yeah, this caught my attention because I know people love their loyalty program, so it, it has to do with these M perks, which you explained. So people uh, around April, May of last year, they started noticing, Meyer shoppers noticing, that their M perks accounts were drained. They just, all the points vanished. And enough people reported this, so law enforcement started looking into this. And just last week, Michigan's attorney general announced that they had an arrest and they charged a 22-year-old Michigan man with stealing all of this information and he's facing felony charges, identity theft and uh, several other charges. And, and here's what's interesting about this, Jeff, is that they, they got passwords from a different, from a, a d data breach that had nothing to do with Meyer. So, and, and you know, with using computers, they're able to enter these and do database searches and rapidly searching and found that they were able to get into people's M Perks accounts with the login and their passwords. And then how did he make money off of these passwords and these M Perks? So what the Attorney General is saying that searching this up and finding that they were, you know, linked to these M Perks then was going on the dark web and selling these and then other people, criminals, were buying them and then going to Meyer and using the M perks to cash them in. And I, I should tell you, I just found out this too, that these victims were reimbursed. So it, it had nothing to do with Meyer, but this was a data breach from a, another case and the issue is that people use the same passwords. And that is the lesson here, right? That's the lesson. So I talk with consumer experts about this, talk with Wisconsin Consumer Protection, and, and we've had this conversation about protecting your password. And one of the most basic things is don't reuse your password over multiple accounts. So if you're thinking, well, I've got my shopping password. I use this password for all my shopping accounts. Well, this is what happened here in this case. So don't reuse your passwords. And if you see something suspicious, you know, like these people did, something wrong with their account that was strange, you know, and you might think, oh, it's just me or I did something, report it, let them know. Enough people reported this Enough one. Enough people did. And that's why it happened. All right, Tammy, thanks. Look forward.